Hi, welcome to today's Arts and Crafts. Okay, today we're going to be making a paper spinner. So let's get on with it. Okay, the first thing you're going to need to do is down below in the comments box, you can print yourself off a template that I've made um, for you to colour in and design your paper spinner on. If you don't want to use my template, um, you can use the blank template that is also at the bottom. So this is called the patterned template and there's also a blank one that is just the circles. Um, and then you can design your own, so you could do swirls on it or whatever else you might want to do, okay? So you can do your own design, but this is the one I'm going to use today, okay? So once you've printed off your design, you are going to need to colour it in. So I've coloured them both in exactly the same because I want my front and the back to be the same. I'm only going to cut one out at the moment and you'll see why when I stuck it on. Okay, so once you've cut one of your circles out, you need to get a piece of cardboard. It needs to be quite thick cardboard. I've used this off a box. Okay, cereal boxes are okay, but they're a bit flimsy, so you might want to get something a bit more sturdier. What you need to do is stick this onto your box. Okay, I'm going to use PVA to stick my pattern design on. So I'm going to squeeze some out and then I'm going to use one of my spreaders to spread it all over the back of my spinner. Like I say, you want to use the cardboard that's quite thick um, just because when you're spinning your spinner it doesn't want to be wobbling about so the thicker the card the better now the reason I'm only sticking one on first and then I'm going to cut it out is because I want to make sure that the front matches the back and I need to make sure that the holes go through at the right point I'm just going to put a pair of scissors on my paper because it's windy again today. Um, you might need a grown-up to help you with this because this, you will need some quite good scissors to cut this out. So I'm using my really sharp ones. Okay. As you can see, it is sticking to it nicely. Okay, because it is PVA, it is quite a wet glue, so it might be best to just let it stick to the card. Okay, right, that's cut out nicely. Right, while that is drying a bit, I am going to cut out this one now and I can use my smaller scissors again for this one. Obviously try and cut round on the circle, close to the line as you can, just so that we don't get any white from the paper on it. Okay, so now I can get rid of that bit in my tray so it doesn't blow all over the garden okay then what you're going to do oh, is glue this bit on now so I'm gonna get my PVA again I'll go around now, the reason I put PVA into a washing up liquid bottle is because you can spread it easier where you want it and it stops it from drying out if you put it in a pot and don't cover it it goes hard and it dries out this way it keeps it nice and runny every time okay right put the glue stick out the way 
Then I'm going to stick, lay it on the top like that, turn it over. And now you can see you've got it perfectly covered with your spinner. Because you're using PVA as well, it is movable. Okay, right, while that is drying, you need to get a piece of string and it needs to be about 40 centimetres long. Anything over 35 centimetres up to 40 works fine. Um, I've measured this and it is exactly 40 centimetres. And what you need to do is make two holes in your spinner. Now I'm going to put a piece of blue tack underneath because I don't want to damage my, tra my tray, you don't want to damage your table. And you need to put a hole either side of this centre point. So I'm going to put my scissors there and just twist them round. Again, you might need a grown up for this bit. Okay, as you can see, you've got a hole. And I'm going to turn it over, put my blue tack on the other side again, and try and get it as even as you can. Pop it and twist it, and then take your blue tack off, and just go through a little bit more with your scissors. Okay, right, now the fun part. So what you're going to do is you're going to put your string through one hole, get it on the other side that's it and then put the string through the other okay and then you need to tie your string into a knot at the end and this creates your string with your spinner motion now what you need to do is take your string like this okay I find if you hold it with this finger and then put your thumb there and your finger like that and then do the same so your ring finger and your thumb and the trick is to get it spinning really quite quickly and then pull it and as you can see it spins round and you can go in and out and keep going so keep going do it again and hold it and it should spin again. You can see all the colours all blending in and making it a rainbow pattern. I hope you have fun with your spinners and don't forget to send pictures to me at mrsbdartsandcrafts at gmail.com. Have fun with your spinner. Take care. Bye bye.